Hello guys and welcome to the video. My name is Nouria Radwan and you are tuned to photomanipulation.com. In this video, I will show you how to paint hair using the pencil in less than one minute. If you are new here, welcome. We are not your typical Photoshop channel. We specialize in photo manipulations, digital art and advanced Photoshop techniques. If that sounds like your kind of thing, be sure to like and subscribe as we put out new videos every weekday. It's free, easy and really supports the channel. Let's roll the video. Enjoy. So today guys I will show you the power of pencil in uh, painting hair. Uh, it's really uh, easy and quick, you can do it in less than one minute. Uh, this is the hair I painted uh, last night, I was uh, experiment, uh, the, uh, experimenting the uh, technique. So the first step to do is to select our pencil and then go to this icon right here, the uh, settings icon. Click on it and change the thickness to one pixel. The color I like to keep it at uh, default, but you can change it to any color you want. And check the uh, rubber band. So what's that going to do? It's going to change the uh, thickness of our uh, pencil path, and it will uh, show you a uh, preview of the direction of the uh, next uh, path you are uh, making before you click on the screen, and it will show you how it will look like so you know uh, if you want to change the uh, points on the square or not so what i'm going to do now click on any place on your screen and try to paint a hair shape just like that maybe and now if you see this is the point i'm selecting right now if you have a point on your path selected and you click on the arrow keys you will find that you are moving it and when you click on shift and hold it and you move the uh, point you will find it's moving but with a larger uh, pixel uh, rate and if you click and hold alt and then you move with the arrow keys you will find that you are making a duplicated path uh, on the same path of the hair we just uh, duplicated this point in a particular so yeah that's uh, what you need to know now what i'm going to do i'm going to select these three points without this one because we want this one to stay at its place and the way to do it is by clicking on control and hold it and then drag the mouse to select the three points and then click on alt and then hold it and move with the arrow keys and start moving it and as you can see we made a duplicated uh, path and it doesn't matter how we move it this point will never uh, move uh, from its uh, place and it's that's good for painting the hair so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to start and making a hair shape by moving it to random places and then click and hold alt and then the arrow keys and start making a shape of the hair and then click on control and then hold it and select the, the all of these points but this one and then again click on uh, alt and then hold it and move with the arrow keys again start to try to make a hair shape and when you got this uh, base shape with the control and dragging I'm going to select all the points even with this one and then I'm going to click and hold alt and move it but this time I will click on control T and then with the uh, right mouse button go and uh, select uh, wrap and I'm going to move the hair with much control now it will give me uh, more control to the uh, shape just make sure not to move this a lot we are we are not trying to make it uh, messy let's try and make it looks like a hair that's our goal and then let's do the same step again I'm going to make it uh, smaller so it 
fit in our screen and then alt and then uh, move with the arrow keys and with the wrap let's try and make it more accurate You can also click and hold alt if you are using the uh, photoshop uh, 2020 uh, version and move a, a, a specific area if you don't it's not a problem i made the first hair without using this technique i just remembered it right now and when you finished just click on control and drag it and let's make it smaller and now uh, you, you are seeing this uh, squares uh, in the middle of our path you can leave it but i want to remove it from the screen so i can uh, see the hair uh, better i prefer to click control and then click on every, any point outside this path on the screen so i uh, remove these squares for now next step is to select the brush uh, select the uh, hard brush and decrease the hardness to uh, 80 percent uh, the size around uh, 1 to 10 depends on your image that you are working on just make sure you are having the same size of the hair uh, on your work uh, i'm going to show you how to to decide the size of the brush in uh, this image right here links down below uh, let's go back to our uh, practice now click on this uh, icon right here uh, that will bring the uh, brush settings but I prefer to click on uh, F5 that's the uh, shortcut for it then check the uh, shape dynamics go to control option and change it to fade and now we have fade uh, with the value of 21, uh, 25 uh, pixels so what does that mean? that means uh, our brush stroke will start to vanish uh, uh, within uh, 25 uh, pixels so when it reach when it uh, reached the uh, 25 pixel it will vanish i'm going to show you how select the pen tool or just click p on your keyboard with the uh, right uh, button uh, with the right mouse button select stroke path tool select brush and check the uh, simulate pressure and then click ok now if I remove our path, our uh, pen tool path, you will find that our stroke start to vanish in uh, 25 uh, pixel uh, range. You can see it from uh, this uh, path right here. From uh, 20 right here to 25 pixel. And this value right here depends on your uh, image size in my case it's uh, around uh, 2000 in both uh, width and uh, height so what i'm going to do i'm going to decrease that uh, value to 1000 1800 and then click ok now if you go back and do the same steps you will find that our hair start to vanish in around uh, 1800 uh, pixels and if you want it to vanish in further areas you can just increase the size of the fade in uh, the uh, control uh, option and this is the techniques uh, i have a faster way to uh, do these steps you can just click on b that's the shortcut of uh, brush and then click enter and that will do the job of going to select the uh, pen tool and then go to stroke path and then click ok you can just click on b and then click uh, on enter uh, so i'm going to do the steps again as you can see i painted the hair it's not good as the first one right here but the more you take your time to paint the hair uh, shapes uh, the more accurate results you will get uh, so yeah you can uh, also you don't have to paint uh, straight hair you can paint uh, curly hair just with a random shapes like that i don't know how the uh, curly hair works so i'm just going to 
go to random uh, shapes and then i'm going to select the points right here and then click on and hold alt and let's make it random like we did with the other one and then click on b and then on enter and as you can see but it start to vanish way too uh, close so i'm going to our uh, brush settings with f5 and make it uh, and increase the uh, pixel uh, value to around 2400 let me first hide this one and then click on b and then enter and yeah you get the points so you like i told you in the title you can make it in the fast way so i'm going to make it real quick to show you that the technique uh, is really fast but first let me just decrease the uh, fade again to around 1900 let's do it again uh, quicker fast then click on b and then enter and we got our hair shape now let's go and paint the hair on uh, a real image now let's try to paint uh, extra hair to this uh, model right here i'm going to make a new layer and i'm going to make a random bath starting from our uh, top head and I'm going to make a random shape just like that and then with the control and then holding I'm going to select the three points and with the alt and the L keys I'm going to make a duplicated path let's do the same steps again and now let's select them all alt and then with the wrap I'm going to make it more in the uh, in other shape now let's go and see the size of this image it's uh, 3000 width and the height is 5000 so i'm going to my brush settings and make it uh, fade around uh, 4000 and I'm going to sample the color from her hair and then I'm going to zoom out and then click on B and then enter and as you can see we painted the hair but it looks like it's repeating itself in this area it looks good but in this area it looks fake and to, the way to fix that is by uh, duplicating the uh, original image by clicking on the alt and then uh, hold it and move the uh, layer make it at the top and then clip it to our hair and then move it to the side and as you can see now it looks like it's fitting this uh, area before after let's zoom here before and after before and after it looks like it looks real like we didn't add it as you can see this is the power of adding the uh, texture to our hair so i'm going to paint more on this side to make it look it's messy and again new layer and then b and enter and as you can see we painted the hair now let's duplicate the original image let's clip it to our uh, hair and let's move it to the uh, right side and as you can see it's fitting this uh, area of his of her uh, head like we didn't add it if you want to make it more accurate just add a little bit of blur to it because some images uh, focus on the face but not on the hair like a gushing blur around the uh, 1.3 1.5 
just one let's leave it at one e. now we, i'm going to merge all these four layers with the control e and this is the before and after before after before after it doesn't even look fake so yeah now this technique could be could be so useful if you are a vector art designer if you are a digital painter and if you are a logo designer because you can use this technique to uh, uh, paint the shadows on your uh, illustrators or your uh, logos just like that and then click alt and move it alt and then move it alt and then move it so this is the way you make these uh, shadows in your uh, arts let's make a new layer and fill it with white and i'm going to select a brush with the size of one and then let's go to our brush click on b and then enter and as you can see i made this uh, illustrator uh, shadows uh, look so you can use this technique to uh, make these shadows in your uh, illustrators and your uh, vector art don't forget to like and subscribe this will uh, help the uh, channel and will help us so much uh, appreciated uh, thank you so much and i hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial i will see you in the next one peace